Now we are going to cover the vendor centers. Let's go to the vendor centers. Vendors are the people you pay. Now we have right here the vendor list and the vendor information. This is, let's go and let's look at City of Bayshore. City of Bayshore, uh, vendor type, permits. We have the address for that vendor and the transactions. You can check the different ones. Information is always there, all the different transactions for this vendor. Now, this vendor we can customize. Let's say we have a new vendor, we just go new vendor and you input the information. So name, company name, uh, address, we go to the payment centers. Payment centers normally, sometimes the vendor gives you an account number. Sometimes they give you payment I, uh, terms. You can pay maybe on receipt or they give you net 15 days, so forth. Depends on each vendor. Tax setting, all oh, tax setting, you know, you are aware that uh, vendors sometimes uh, are eligible for 1099 miscellaneous, so you would check that. And additional information, this is up to you. If you have different vendor types, you select the vendor type. It's all according to your company and what information you need. Again, very easy. We need to edit an, a vendor. You go to this little pencil here, mark, that's an edit. And anytime you need to make uh, a correction, a change, you just go here simply. We have a new mobile number, so we enter the new mobile number. No problem. And then we say, OK, done. Now, activities connected with vendors. Again, remember, vendors, you can add, delete, change, always in QuickBooks, you, you can do those activities. Now, what is shown on the vendor window? You'll see here, purchase order, receive inventory, and enter bills. But then you see bills again. Okay, the top section is for products products that you order and keep in inventory. So suppose that you need, let's look at a purchase order here. You select purchase order and then you can view the last one by going to the arrow, previous. Here's a purchase order. What are we ordering? The item. What is the item? Everything that we buy and sell is an item. So in this case we are ordering materials. Description, quantity, rate, and amount. Now, um, later on, we are going to teach you items. What are items? How to create them and what they mean. So now this is a purchase order. So what happens after you order? Normally, the normal course of action is to receive that inventory. So then you go to receive inventory, receive it sometimes with a bill, sometimes without a bill. So, whichever case may be, you receive that inventory. Now, this section here, it only says enter bills. This section here are for vendors for other types of services that do not involve inventory products. For instance, your uh, electrical bills, your accountant's bills, lawyers, etc. Those are simple bills. Now, notice that this is your accounts payable. And there is a natural flow. Notice the flow chart. Purchase orders, receive inventory, and the next step, down here, we pay the bill. So when we pay the bill, we cancel our reduce, our accounts payable. Right here, we know all the bills that we have to pay. All the bills, when we decide to pay them, we select them right here. You select the bill you want to pay, and it gives you information, the date of the payment, the type of payment, and the balance in your checking account. So before you pay, you have all the relevant information. And then you select Pay Selected Bill. Uh, notice that sales tax has a separate 
item. QuickBooks collects all the sales stats that have been uh, entered, that have been quoted, and keeps the total liability that you have to pay. So by selecting sales tax liability, it shows you the total sales, the ones that are non-taxable, taxable sales, and the tax collected, so then you know exactly how much to pay uh, when you are ready to pay your sales tax liability. That quickly shows you the vendor section.